What was it? The enrollment. I have no the, idea what it was. The, okay, the enrollment. Okay. Oh. Um, I want to backtrack a little bit because I, I, I just happened to pick the bu button. Tell us a little bit about that class again. For some reason, I didn't get that. So on the experimental science, would you repeat that again? That you, that, uh, there were 30 women hand-selected across the country. Okay. And, and they brought in special professors for us. Okay, go ahead. And what it amounted to was a liberal art, uh, arts interpretation of science. Okay, okay. And they, uh, it, it, they treated us like we were celebrities. I don't know well, why, but I, I think that's I think that's wonderful. And then also, you said that Lillian Gilbert was a counselor. Yes. Now she was she on? Did she stay on campus quite a bit of the time, or? I think she did. Okay. You know, she had twelve children. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. We, we, she we, worked all the time. I don't <laughs> know how she did it, but she did. She was able to manage it then, right? Yeah. Okay. She was wonderful. Right. Okay. And. Uh, can I just ask you again the question on, on the high school that you mentioned when you went to that was Horace Mann, and you also were in the band and orchestra, correct? Yes. Okay, and played the piano. Yeah. And then uh, I also played all the percussion instruments too. Oh, okay. Okay, that's very good. And then, of course, grade school was in, in Gary. Let me ask you this: How did you hear about the program at Purdue? Did they contact you? Yes. Okay. I was all set to go to Northwestern. Okay. I was all uh, re uh, practically registered, and then they made this offer to me, and how could I turn that down? Well, I agree with you. One, um, I'm Do you remember, were there, were there both boys and girls in the program? No, or just all girls. All girls, okay. About how many people were there, 20, or do you I recall? I think there were 30 of us. 30, okay, fine. That's good. Um, then after, then you took a, a program of other things, but primarily in, in the college, which is now known as the College of Science. That's right. It right. started the College of Science. Right. And then you majored in psychology and you minor Psychology minored. and sociology. Okay, good. Then after uh, graduation, what came next? Can you tell us about your career path after that? Well, after I graduated, I made a big decision. Good. The best one in my life. Good. I married Julian Bud Salstein. Okay. He was a mechanical engineer from Purdue. All right. And um, did uh, did you get married here in, in Lafayette? or it get, Actually, in, I was married in Chicago. Okay. Well, that sounds good. <clears throat> um, then after, tell us a little about your career path, and after you got married, what, what came next? Well, a bud was in the service. Okay. So uh, I was a social worker for the American Red Cross in California. Okay. Bud was stationed uh, there in, in the Air Force, and after he got out of the Air Force, we settled in Gary, mm -hmm. where I taught mentally challenged students of all grades. Okay. And Bud worked with my father at their business, the New Way Laundry and Cleaners. Okay. All right. And uh, we also had a franchise of Dustex. That's an environmental maintenance company, a division of American Uniform Company. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, when Redevelopment took the area where the laundry and cleaners was located. Bud was asked to be the general manager of the Dussex Company, which is located in Cleveland, Tennessee. Okay. And that's an international company. Okay, good. So while I lived in Cleveland, I also taught there. Mm -hmm. And Bud held his uh, position as general man manager until he retired in 1983. And then we moved to Coconut Creek, Florida. Okay. And both he and I ran our condominium complex, which has over 10,000 residents. 10,000 residents? Wow, yes. that sounds like some big job. Yes, it well. was. It was a, it was a, a challenge. interesting, you put it yeah. that way. That's right, I bet, that's right, exactly. You must have had a lot of buildings. Were there quite a few buildings connected with that? That's a big, that's a huge... I uh, think there were... I think eight buildings, if oh, I remember correctly. Okay. My memory is not as that's, sharp as it should uh, be. That sounds, listen, that's okay. Um, so you meant... passed away in October 2006 from bladder cancer. Oh, okay. All righty. Uh, can, and what about, uh, you know, talk, tell, tell us a little about your children. You have two daughters, I understand. I have two daughters. Okay. Well, and Claire, who is with me now. Right. She's become my mommy now. Oh, she's your helper, right? Yeah, it's, okay, it's sounds wonderful. There you go. We all need that. Yes. It comes that time in life when we change places. <laughs> a little bit, right. I understand what you're saying. 
Yeah. And, and then one of them, I guess, did went to part time, but started at Purdue, but then transferred to uh, another to uh, yeah, that was Drake. Clear. Okay, went and to Drake. Drake. Went to, uh, she graduated from Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa, and she got her mat master's from National Lewis and, uh, University in Chicago. Okay, all right. And okay. she's now a retired teacher who taught English, health physical education and special education at the high school level. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds pretty good. But she, keep... she also coached the Purdue women's volleyball at the at Calumet campus. Oh, really? Yeah, after, after she... uh, when, well, when was that? Uh, after she was at Purdue, after she graduated or while she was in? Yes, no, oh. after she graduated. Oh, good. And she both coached and officiated at the high school and uh, college levels, men and women, uh, volleyball, basketball, softball, track, and field, and uh, she even ran, uh, directed the summer drama theater at the high school. Oh my gosh, listen, I, 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 that's great. <laughs> and she now has her own travel business for 24 years and has also been a realtor for 37 years. She hasn't done much with her life. No, I don't think so. Maybe she's looking for a project. Or something like that, right? Something She's just got a project. She has me. All right. <laughs> just to keep her busy, you know, and rather than watching the TV. <laughs> oh, she's been fantastic. I don't know what I'd do without well, her. Well, it's it's, that's what families are for, you know, keep well, them together. It's wonderful to be blessed with two that's beautiful right. daughters and a granddaughter. Right. Where does your um, other daughter live? Uh, she's in, uh, in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Oh, oh okay. She graduated from Boston University in Boston, Massachusetts, uh -huh. and she has her master's degree from the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's a nice city. Yeah. And she's in private practice as a psychotherapist in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Okay. All right. And she's done some radio and local TV interviews regarding her expertise in counseling. She has participated in giving workshops on Omega... Uh, therapy, I think I have that right. Okay, sounds so, good. And I've she's had the one. That, wonderful daughters. Yeah, and you say you have a granddaughter. I have one a granddaughter. Her name is Chelsea. Okay, and we, and uh, is she, about how old is she? Uh, about twenty three, I think. Oh, okay. It is. Oh, that's good. It's, that sounds good. Well, you got a lot of lot of people there to take care of you, so that's well, good. They're not. Uh, Janet's family is not here, no. so Claire has the whole burden. Oh well, she keeps in touch. They keep in touch. Um, yes. Let me ask yeah, you this. We do keep in touch. Right. Now, you uh, said also that you were a member of the, of course, you remember the Purdue Alumni Association, and then you were, when yes. you lived in Florida, did you were pretty active in that, or you attended some of the events? Yes, I, we did. Okay, okay. And uh, you ever, did, uh, w during your years after graduation, were there some times did you get back a chance to come back to campus for uh, any of the uh, reunions you know, at all? Uh, I've been back and and. and <laughs> had many memories. Okay. In fact, I want to go back again now uh, to look it over. Sure. Well, that's good. Well, we'll we got we sort of got a lunch on the on the agenda. We just have to wait till the weather is a little bit better and it'll work out. It'll be fine. I hope so. Sure, that's good. Uh, what is in addition to your piano, do you have any other hobbies or special interests that you'd like to uh, share with us? Well, do you do into like cooking? I like dancing, but I don't have a man to dance with. <laughs> Well, dancing. Well, Claire and I dance together. Well, that's all right. <laughs> you know, you got you need some exercise, right? <laughs> yeah, I really need that. <laughs> okay. Um, when I, I usually ask people this, did you have a Purdue tradition that uh, kind of sticks in your mind that you remember, like maybe commencement or the bo we still had the Boilermaker special. You know, the little the, the train that looks like the Boilermaker. You've seen that. Used to see that around campus. They've got one. They keep getting them. The one they have now will go 65 miles an hour. Oh, boy. It goes around and takes people on tours around campus, which is really is that nice. right? Yes, and they have a little one that they have on the football field, but this one is a regular one, and they take people for little tours around there, oh, around campus. Oh, I'm going to have to get back on campus again. Well, you will. we got I that lunch so going. I have so many fond memories. Sure. Purdue that. was such a wonderful choice, especially since I was all set to go to Northwest. That's right, exactly. Well, we play North, we're playing Northwestern for homecoming this year. Oh, so, you are? Oh, yeah. Well, right. Purdue's going to win. Oh, absolutely. Is there any <laughs> other? Th there's nothing like that. No. Um, do you have an outstanding event that you would like to sh that uh, comes to mind that you'd like to share with us? Well, well. You've had quite a few, I'd say. 
Yes, I have had. Sure. I don't know which one I would say was most outstanding. I guess having my children. That's good. They were pretty exciting. That's right, exactly. And getting married. And meeting I think your the husband. fact that the, they brought these special professors in for us, I, I was very impressed with that, you know, especially Albert Einstein. That's right. I would. And, and Lillian Gilbreth. I mean, they were outstanding people and brought in, especially for we uh, 30 women. Oh, boy, were you a lucky lady. Oh, lucky. and how? <laughs> and how? I'm, I'm just. It's and I look back at it and I think, how did I manage to have so much success? Of the, the wonderful things in life. That's right. Well, you just, especially finding such a wonderful man. That's right. Well, God loves you. Then that's what they say. Um, yeah. Any uh, any other comments that you'd like to uh, share with us, or maybe Claire wants to pipe in? Anything special? Well, I'll leave I'm it to Claire you. Say if she has anything yeah. to say. Sure, Claire. Well, uh, one main thing I know is that sure. Mark's always uh, spoken very highly of Purdue, and I think very highly of it too. Sure. And. Uh, we will probably be coming to Purdue in the not too distant future. I know that uh, she is very interested in getting back on campus and looking it over and sure. seeing all the changes. Right. Um, I think it was what, about five, four or five years ago, maybe a little bit longer, was the last time we were on campus. Okay. And I know that there's been a lot of changes, she remarked, from obviously when she was there. There's sure. a lot more buildings. and. A lot of changes in that regard. Right. So we'll get a chance to even play. There may be a few more since then because they have been doing some building, et cetera. Oh, really? Well, down near Discovery Park, that's all new. Tell her that's down State Street near where the married student housing used to be near Purdue West. That's all Discovery Park. It's quite nice. Oh, quite great. nice. So we'll have, a little, we'll have a little tour when you come here. Oh, I, I'm very anxious to get back there. I know. I have so many fond memories. I know. It was such a wonderful time of my life. That's right, exactly. And it's, you get the, you keep, uh, of course, keep in touch because you get the Alumnus Magazine, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, and that's a good magazine. I, I don't, I am not a member of the alumni, but I have a friend who gets it, and so I get, I like to read it. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Anything uh, in closing, anything that you can think of that we missed on that uh, you'd like to uh, make a comment on? Well, I've given you a lot of details. I don't know how important they were. Everyone is important, you know. <laughs> it really is. Well, yeah. I have been very blessed in my life, and, and I'm just sorry that my husband isn't still here to sure. share it with me, but he's, he's with me in, in mind all that's, the time. That's right, exactly right. Well, and you got, and each day is a challenge, and it comes, and it's nice to have each day, which is good. And it's oh, nice yes. to be back in the up in the Midwest. And, and this interview is a challenge. Well, it's been done very well, and, and Ruth, I want to thank you very, very much. And it we'll was be my pleasure, and I hope I didn't goof. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did really well, and I want to wish you a nice weekend, and also Claire, and we'll keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks Thank you a lot. Very much. Thank you very it was a much. Pleasure talking to you. My pleasure as well. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>